Welcome to Supixel Training and Coaching. My name is Steve Huang. In this video, you are going to learn how to do XLOOKUP to match items within a range with a single value, which can oftentimes replace the need to write those non-multiple layers of nested if formula. You can download the training Excel file from the link in the description below so you can practice along. This is the sixth video in the XLOOKUP Inside Out series. If you haven't watched the previous videos yet, you may want to go back to start from the first one so you will have better understanding of this lesson. If you are going to practice along with the download Excel file, this file we're using is SuperExcel 6 XLOOKUP Match Next Smaller. Here we have a table with sales records. We have cost my IDs, the bought from us on the different dates for so many dollar amount, and we'll have the sales rep name over here too, and we'll have lots of records all the way to the row 6,574 rows. Given those records over here, we want to calculate the commission dollars for those sales rep, and the commission dollar will be a percent of the sales dollar. That percentage is not one fixed percentage. Instead, it will be one of the five percentages over here. Now, what's the rule to decide when to use which percentage? This is the rule. This 3.5% is for when the sales dollar is less than 20,000, then the commission percentage will be 3.5%. And this 3.3% is when the sales dollar is 20,000 or more, but less than 40,000. So less than this next item, 40,000, then the commission will be 3.3%. And when the sales dollar is 40,000 or more, but less than 60,000, so less than 60,000, then the commission will be 3.1%. And when the sales dollar is 6,000 or more, but less than 80,000, then the commission will be 3.0%. When it's 80,000 or more, then the commission will be 2.9%. So when we do the formula over here to calculate the commission dollar, it's not as simple as just taking this sales dollar, then say time a percentage over here. Because for the different records, you have to use a different percentage. And you don't want to go to every single formula to choose the percentage yourself manually. You wish to do only one single formula, and this one formula knows in which record to use which percentage. Now, if you knew the if function, and know how to combine if to do multiple layers of if, then you can handle this by nesting for if function together. Or if you know the ifs function, you can have this done with one single function called ifs. You still have to write each condition within the formula. Now I'm gonna show you very quickly if you do the two approach, what that look like. Now the point over here, I'm not trying to teach you to do that. I'm trying to tell you those are longer way, which you don't have to do because this can be done by doing one single short x lookup function by using the match type minus one. Now I'm going to show you what the long way would be. That could be done by using four if function nesting together. That would be equal sign if if the sales dollar, which is d15 cell, is less than this twenty thousand absolute comma then the commission percentage will be that 3.5 percent absolute comma then otherwise you will do a lot of f function you say the self dollar is less than this 40,000 comma then the commission percentage would be this 3.3 percent comma now otherwise you will do a lot of f function if the sales dollar is less than 60,000 absolute, then the commission percentage will be 3.1% also absolute. Then otherwise, you will do a lot of if function. If the sales dollar is less than 80,000 absolute, then the commission will be 3.0% absolute then otherwise will be this 2.9% absolute. Now here we have 
one, two, three, four, if functions, we're going to have four closing bracket over here. One more, four closing bracket. So those four if function nested together, that will give us the right commission percentage. Then you do multiply by the sales dollar, which is D15, then that will give you the correct commission dollar amount. Now enter, and then you can copy that formula down for all the rest records to get the correct commission dollar. So this could be one way, but it's a very long way, having four if function nested together. Now you may also have learned the function called ifs, I F S ifs. If you know that function, you don't have to nest four functions together. You will do just one ifs function, but that will still be a long formula. So if we do the ifs function, you will do the ifs, and then you don't need to have this nest if over here. You don't need to have this nest if over here. You don't need this nest if over here. Uh, you don't need to have those three colon bracket over here. You just have one. And before your last argument over here, you will have a lot of argument called one or two, then give you D7. So if you know the if function, you will do such a way, which is similar to the previous way using for if. And now with that, you will get the same result. So those are two ways you could potentially do. But now the point is, you don't have to do any one of the two ways because those are longer way. This can be done with one single short X lookup, but our match type will be minus one. So now let me show you how the X lookup match type minus one will help us to solve this problem, but in a much elegant and beautiful way. Let me create a copy of this sheet and I'm gonna draw this on my screen. Let me get rid of this. And let me make screen a little bit bigger. In this cell E15, we are going to do an X lookup function. By now you know X lookup function has six arguments. And the sixth argument is a lookup order from first to last or last to first. Now in this case, we are going to do first to last then we can omit that six segment. So we're gonna omit the six segment, we're gonna have only five arguments. Now the first argument is what you're looking for. Our formula over here will be looking for that sales dollar amount, which is 34,206. We'll look for this cell D15. Then from where? The second argument will be the range you're looking within which will be the cell dollar over here in column C on top over here. And then the third argument will be which is the range to return the corresponding value. We're trying to return those commission percentage, which will be in column D on top over here. That's what we're trying to return. And then the fourth argument will be the value to return in case that match not being found in the second argument. And if we omit that argument, if we omit this argument, that means when the match not being found, you will get an A. Actually, I'm going to omit this argument. When match not being found, give me an A, that's fine. And then the fifth argument, which we have learned earlier, which could be 0, or minus 1, or 1, or 2. We have learned 0 means exact match, and 2 means wild card character match. Now for this particular lesson, you are going to learn this match type minus one. And we're going to do the one in the next lesson. So for now, let's focus on the match type minus one. And let me get rid of the other. If we do match type minus one over here, what does that really mean? How does that work? With minus one match type, the rule is this. It's going to first try to match this value exactly. If the exact match not being found, then it's going to match the next small item. So it's going to match either exactly or match next smaller item. 
So that's a rule to match when do minus one. It's going to match exactly or to match the next small item. Now with the formula over here, look for the 34,206 with minus one match type. If you look at in this second argument range, we don't see the exact match 34,206. Then it's going to match the next small item than the 34,206. Now in that list over here, the next small item is this 20,000. The 20,000 is the next small item than the 34,026. So 20,000 will be matched. Then it's going to return the cell value in the third argument range in the same position, which will be this 3.3%. Now you know this 34,206 is greater than 20,000, but less than 40,000, according to our rule, that should give us 3.3%. So this will give us a perfect match. Now, if you look at a different number, if we say we're going to look for the number 39,999, again, with minus one match type, it's going to try to match exactly or to match the next small item. Apparently, we don't really have that 39,99 in this list over here, so it won't match exactly. Then it's going to match the next small item and the next small number, then 39.99, will be 20,000 again. So that will give you the 3.3%. And we understand when you have sales dollar as 39.99, which is greater than 20,000, but less than 40,000, that should give us 3.3%. So this is perfect. Now, if you look for a large number, say 20,000, again, with match type minus 1, it's going to try to match exactly first, which we do find that exact match over here, 20,000. So it's going to match 20,000, give you 3.3%. Now we understand when the sales dollar is equal to 20,000, that definitely should be 3.3%. That's perfect. Now you may see the pattern over here. Basically, when you have number or 20,000 or more, but less than 40,000, they all match 20,000 and give you 3.3%. And we have number over here being, say, 40,000 or more, but less than 60,000, they all match 40,000, give you 3.1%. So when you do minus Y match type, it's matching those items within a range with one single number over here, and then give you the corresponding value. Anything is 40,000 or more, but less than 60,000, give you 3.1%. Anything that's 60,000 or more, but less than 80,000, will give you 3.0%. Anything that's 80,000 or more, then give you 2.9%. That's how the X lookup works when you have match type being minus one. And that can help you to eliminate the need to do those multiple layers of F formula, which is much longer. They can be done with such a short, beautiful, elegant X lookup function with minus one match type. In real life, your bins rule over here may not happen to align with this minus one match type rule. And there is a lot of match type, which is one, which could potentially help. We will talk about that in the next lesson. Now, for some of you, you may know in the old VLOOKUP function, that match type one is actually similar to this XLOOKUP match type minus one. But one difference is with minus one match type in the XLOOKUP, you don't have to sort this in any way. This can be in different order, that don't matter. It will still match the next more item. But when you do the old VLOOKUP function with match type one, that requires that table to be sorted in ascending order. So XLOOKUP definitely offer more advantage than the old VLOOKUP function. Now, let me demonstrate this function on my screen. Let me go back to the first sheet and get rid of that old formula. And let me make the screen a little bit bigger so you can see better my formula, which will be equal sign XL tab to insert the function. We're looking for this cell dollar over here. I can use my left arrow key to go there with the D15 comma. We'll look for that from where? From this range in column C on top over here. Let me go there to select all those cell dollar range. And make them absolute with F4 comma. 
Then third argument will be the range to return, which will be commission percentage in column D on top over here. Let me go there to select those commission percentage, also absolute, comma. Now the fourth argument, I'm going to omit that. If the match not being found, give me an A, which is fine. I don't care for this purpose. So comma, we're omitting the fourth argument. Now the fifth argument is a match type. We are going to do minus one. So minus one. And if you do all out the comma, then you will do the sixth argument, which is the search mode, the order you're looking for. In this case, we are going to omit the sixth argument because we are going to look in order from first to last. Actually, even if you do last to first, it will give you a similar result. Because typically, when you have this type of rule, you would not have any duplicates in this range over here. When you match next smaller, it does not matter if you're looking from top to bottom or bottom to top, you're still matching the same number. Only if you have duplicates, then that will make a difference. But in this case, you wouldn't have any duplicates. So either will be fine, but I'm going to do search first last. I can omit the sixth segment. I'm going to remove this comma. I'm going to omit the sixth segment and then close the bracket. That will give us one of those five percentage and then multiply by the sales dollar, which is D15. Then that will give me the commission dollar. Enter and then can copy the formula down by select the cell first, move my cursor to the bottom right corner. When the cursor changes to a solid cross, I can do a double click. So that copy the formula all the way down. Now we have it calculated for every single record what the commission dollar is based on one of those five percentage number over here. That's how the X lookup works by having the match type to be minus one. Again, it's to match values within a range with one single item over here to give you the corresponding result. And this can eliminate the need sometimes those non-nested multiple F formula or the F's function. Hope by now you have understood how XLOOKUP works with match type minus one. I suggest you to download the training Excel file from the link in the description to practice with many different numbers, many different scenarios to make sure you truly master the minus one match type. If you find this lesson beneficial, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can learn more. For any questions you may have, please write a comment below. I will answer your questions. In the seventh video of the XLOOKUP Inside Out series, you are going to learn yet another match type, which is match type 1. Match type 1 is similar to match type minus 1, but the match rule is exactly opposite. In real life, sometimes your business rule happens to align with minus 1 match type, but sometimes it doesn't. Then you have to use a match type 1 to handle that. I also want to tell you that for both match type minus 1 and 1, you can match number and text. So in the next lesson, I'm going to demonstrate match type 1 by using text. I look forward to seeing you in the seventh lesson. Thank you.